Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm gonna paint a barn. The reference photos on Unsplash, I'll link it in this video's description. I've cropped it, made it a little taller, uh, messed with the shadows a little bit. I put, I, I put in a little shadow right there, made this a little darker and redder, made this a little lighter, but you'll, you'll know it's the same photo when I link it in this video's description. I'm going to paint it on a 10 inch by 10 inch canvas from Michaels. The usual, if you've been watching my videos, inch and a half thick. It's gallery wrapped and splined. It has a little rubber gasket in there. And I'm going to use Thalo Blue Green Shade, which I use that color a lot. I'm going to use Yellow Oxide. I'm going to try to do a softer, more muted painting. And I'm going to use Red Oxide. Those will be my three colors colors in quotes and then I'm going to use black and white so titanium white and Mars black okay let's get started <laughs> Okay, my, I, I uh, <laughs> sorry guys, I printed out the barn photo uh, pretty much 10 by 10 inches and used it as a traceable, but it didn't trace very well. So then I came back in and sketched in with a black charcoal pencil what was missing. I put out phthalo blue green shade, quite a bit of white and some Mars black. And there's more black than blue in this combination. And it kind of looks like a rainy sky. I might brighten it up, but I'm, I'm telling myself I want a more muted, softer painting. So I'm gonna put out some yellow oxide, mix some greens and work on the, the background here. If you don't have yellow oxide, just um, like a little brown in your yellow. I'm running out of it. Um, does it say on the tube? Looks to me like there's a little brown in, the, in, a, in a cad yellow. Um, Golden has a lot of mixing. You can go to their site, uh, Golden Acrylic Paints, and they'll tell you how to mix a lot of colors. Liquitex might too. Not totally sure. Okay guys, I'm gonna mix some greens and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, let's talk about color for a little bit. So I mixed um, yellow oxide with just a pinch of phthalo blue and got a yellow green, th uh, yellow oxide with a little more blue and got a pretty, pretty good green there. I like that. And then uh, yellow oxide, more phthalo blue and black to get a darker green. And then I'm kind of mixing a little bit off to the side from there. I put out some red oxide and then mix some black with it and got a rusty red brown. I think if I add a little more black to it, it might get a more of a burnt umber color. But I wanted the brown to add some white to it and some black to it to get kind of this putty color to a little bit warmer color off in the distance. So really I'm just blocking in shapes. I mean, so this was sort of a straight line and then a rounded shape. And then it's the beige colors. And I'm just kind of scribbling with a brush just to get some paint down there, get some values down there. Oh, for the sky, I don't think I've used, mentioned my brushes. So for the sky I used, oh, is it wearing off? Oh no, there it is, a three quarter inch, 19 millimeter 
Royal and Langnickel. It's their Zen line. It's a flat brush. Um, for some of the little trees and grasses in the background, I've just been using, I think that's a quarter inch. Might be an eighth of an inch. Uh, number six brush from CraftSmart. I got it at Michael's. Needs a little cleaning out. And then I broke out a new brush because um, I wanted something a little whiter. Uh, what is this one? It's a number eight from Royal Langnickel. Let's see what size this is. I love, if you guys don't have one of these little plastic T-squares, they're so nice for little paintings getting straight lines. Okay, so that's a quarter inch. So yeah, this is probably an eighth inch. It's pretty close. Okay, and then all I'm doing is just getting some color in there. I think I'm gonna put some yellows here. And what I really kind of need to do is paint the barn because all this grass goes over the barn. I kind of, I always wanted to block it in for some reason first. Um, there's no right or wrong reason. I like the colors on my palette, so that's got me excited. So far, this just needs more work. It's coming along though. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I thought I'd pop in and chat a bit. So I painted yesterday, I don't remember if it was last night, this area yellow and then a little bit of brown. And then uh, today I thought, oh, of course it's getting more colorful and I want to do more muted painting. Um, but I can still mute it down. I put in some of the red oxide just to sort of, so it sort of leads you in here, I think one of my main focal points is already here. It's all the dark shadow areas, so it's gonna keep you in here. Um, but this might be the strongest if I have some lighter lights here. Um, so, and I painted in the shape, so the, the barn door, um, a little bit of the, you can see into the barn, the door, the window. Um, the shadow is nice. Uh, brush stroke direction definitely helps you. And I'm making the shadows cool, sort of. These two sha these shadows are cool, that one in there. This door is not quite as far back, so I made it warmer. I might play with it some more. This side of the barn is gonna be much lighter than this side. So we'll have to see how it, how it develops. Um, um, I made a little, um, um. <laughs> I made a little or pretty orange with the, um, what colors me yellow oxide and red oxide made of kind of pretty pumpkin orange i like that i already mentioned the browns i made quite a few greens oh i put some of the blue into my shadow too to tie in the sky some of the blue in the windows that's about all i'm doing is painting the shapes but i'm going to quit for today i won't be back until tomorrow so i thought i'd pop in and make a few comments i'll see you guys tomorrow
Hey friends, so I've got paint everywhere. I was kind of playing with some of the boards, some of the texture of the barn. Um, I like the color. I know I said I was going to go more muted. I'm looking at it in my phone. Of course, I don't know. I might put in some more greens here, which would cool it off a little bit. This looks more fall with the rusties and the yellows, which I don't, I don't mind that. Uh, what else do I want to say? I think this side of the barn is pretty good, and this side could actually go darker if I'm going to follow. So I adjusted the reference photo a bit from what you'll see if you click the link in this video's description. I don't know. I'm looking at that. Yeah, that's definitely darker. It has more contrast. This is more blown out, but I don't know if I want it quite as blown out as it is in the photo. Um, I haven't added any more colors or anything. I'm just using all the same same colors as before. I think it'd be a good time. It's dinner time. It's the next day. I think it'd be a good time to stop, take a photo of it, step away from it, kind of slow down. Oh, I've been using a quarter inch, maybe a three eighths inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. It says it's a number eight. I've got paint on it. It's their uh, Zen line, I believe. I've also used Oh, this is a little liner brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. I don't know. It's something over zero. It's getting worn, but I used it for the trim for some small areas. What else have I used? I don't know if I've used anything else. I, I think I mentioned this, but just in case I didn't, I used this for like the grasses in the sky. It is a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lang Nickel. Okay guys, I just wanted to pop in. I'm liking the oranges and the blues. I think that's nice. The rusties, rusty color. I like the shadow. The shadow could go darker. There's just different ways I can go with it. I'll have to decide what I want to do next. Um, and I tend to like, I think the sky is done. I could end up add, adding like maybe a sweeping cloud because I'm thinking, I mean, this barn is sinking into the ground. Um, I'm thinking of titling it that sinking feeling. You know, but I don't know if I've got, I mean, that's below half, which is good. And that's about on a third. I think we might be okay design-wise. All right, that's about all that's running through my head. Oh, one thing is um, when you're painting from a reference photo, which I like because it gives you ideas and helps you with structure. But like if you're not getting enough contrast, like lighten an edge or darken an edge to get more contrast, you don't have to follow exactly the photo because I want this line to show up. So really I might want to darken his shadow a little bit more. Um, here I'm okay with it being similar in value and that line isn't showing up nearly as much. Okay guys, oh and then I, um, I, I painted down the barn down a little bit more but then I realized it didn't make sense so then I just scribbled in some dark green for now because the grasses are going to come up even more over when I put in some detail. Oh, and I might put a light just to add a little more detail over in here. And I barely hinted at the, the windows, which is which follows the reference photos. I just put in, hinted at two. I think you can see almost four in the reference photo. Okay, guys, I think that's enough comments. I just wanted to pop in, let you know what I'm thinking, and I'll be back in a bit.
okay guys, I'm done. And I'm calling it done because I'm not making changes um, that are improving it. That's one way I kind of know when I'm done. And I like, I darkened this barn up. I've kind of, I don't know totally because I've been painting this, painting this barn over a couple of days, but I know I darkened this. Um, I think I've lightened and darkened the front of the barn. <laughs> you know, just playing with it. Added some yellow here. Um, I One thing I did is I had too many... Um, oh, and I used a palette knife sometimes just to get a little bit different texture, sort of rough texture. I, um, I had too many weeds that were like these kind of weeds here. I don't know if you can see those. And so then I put blobs here. So sometimes I'll put in detail like weeds or little grass strokes and then I'll paint them out to simplify it because it gets too busy. And then one thing you can kind of keep in mind is keep it softer, looser on the edges and then get busier as you get towards the subject or towards the inside of the painting. So sometimes I'll come back and I'll like I glazed this corner and I actually glazed, I glazed all this to soften it up, darken it up just to help keep you more in the painting. I used matte medium for the glaze. You could use water. You could use gloss medium. I just like that the matte medium dries matte. So when I, it's, when I photograph it, it's all one matte because I photograph it before I varnish it. I put a little glaze, matte medium, a little pink and a little yellow in the sky. There's just a hint of yellow there. I grayed up that corner. What else? Put some blue, so I, I put more blue. I had some blue in here. And I had, then I put some blue over here, put some blue flowers, just to help bring the sky down here. And then that's why I put some yellow and paint, just a hint of it up here, just to help tie the painting together. I think that's about it. Um, this reference photo, which I've mentioned, I'll link in this video's description, is the same reference photo I used for this painting. Here, this is a little bit bigger. It's a 12 by 12. And I was gonna do this one more muted and I didn't. <laughs> I ended up liking the colors. And then this one's pretty colorful too, but some of them are pretty deep. Wine colors. And you can see it's the same barn, but this one I, you can watch me draw it on. And I, it, it's a little sturdier, except for it has a broken piece over here. And I like the little lamp. That's kind of fun. Um, the tree trunk's actually kind of pinks. I, I'm going to stop commenting on this because you can see what I said about it in the video. But it's the same reference photo. I'll link that this that barn I just showed you in this video's description too. Here, let's, I'll give you a little tour and then we'll say goodbye. Oops, I'm going to move my palette. So, a simple sky. I've got a video. Um, just ask me in the comments if you want to, I can get you the link or comment back with the link. I don't know if you want to kind of see the texture of the barn. I thought this was fun. I don't think I, I didn't put it in the other barn painting. But that stops the door from going all the way off this metal piece. I'm like, oh, kind of need that. I really like this blue window because you have the blue window and then the blue sky. So that's fun. So here I had all, see I made this blobbier and then these have more little dots and grass brush strokes in it. And I took out quite a bit of the yellow, which I like. I mean, it'd been more of a fall painting if I left more of that goldy yellow in there, a uh, yellow oxide, but I like. I like that I took some of it out. Can have little hints of orange here and there, a little rust. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. It's really fun. Um, so the same barn reference photo painted sort of differently, two different ways. I love the comments. Thank you so much. It's so fun to chat with you guys. The social, I've noticed a lot of you guys are sharing my videos on social media. That helps a ton. Thank you, thank you for sending support for this channel. I couldn't do this without all of you. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.